Thank you so much, man. You gonna show the love to Blaine for me, yeah? Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. There's a big moblin over there. I appreciate it a lot, Blaine. Thank you, man. Oh, this is for a Korok seed. Let's do that real quick. Kinda weird. Boneforge is a bot. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep going north, northwest ish. I kind of want to get up on that mountain. I saw like another ice thing up there all by itself. <laughs> Boneforge is a bot this whole time, dude. This whole time. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, where did I see that ice thing? Was it down here? I lost it already, guys. Well, there it is. Now, what are you doing here all by yourself? I feel like this is important. We'll just stand next to it while it melts. Well. What up, Papa Lardo? How you doing, man? How you doing? Nice, Mac. Hopefully the tests go well, dude. It's like a giant urinal, kinda. Melt, melt, melt. Icy prime meat. High quality frozen animal meat doesn't restore many hearts, but can lower your body temperature. Okay. Not sure if worth, but uh, we did it anyway. We did it anyway. Should I eat it right now? Do you guys think it's a good idea? Eat it right now? You think? Kappa? No, oh, here's another one down here. Let's go see what that's about. Oh, rip. I won't use it anymore. Apparently it's badly damaged, guys. Oh, apparently I set a moose on fire. <laughs> uh, whoops. Things are good here, Lardo. Things are good here, man. We're just playing in a winter wonderland, you know? You damaged your rod. I did. Set a moose on fire. Setting the wolves on fire, apparently. Nice, dude. Nice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> what have you set on fire? This is true. This is true. Mm, that's not really doing much, Skywarp. I don't think so. Oh, hey. 
Okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. Let's take a Korok seed. Bye bye. Hey, listen. I know you're angry with me, but could you please not? You made me do this. Remember that. <clears throat> Looks like the ones that have like the little gold sparkles drop gems. Okay, there's nothing else up here. Bit of a weird spot. And by bit of a weird spot, I mean very weird spot because now I can only go like this way. There's another one, guys. No, our food just ran out. Please hold. Hold on, gotta pull out my rod. Hold on, guys. Just melting some ice again. Like a bit of a waiting game. Yeah, I noticed it warms me up. I like it. What's up, Z here? Welcome to the channel, man. Hi, Dobby. The Dabo. The Dobbert. Dobbert Dobbingsworth. Just chilling with his dad. And we got a chest out of this deal. 100 rupees? Worth it. Hi, buddy. Right, here's an updraft. Even just having it on my back just warms me up. That's pretty cool. I'll have to uh, keep that in mind. Please hold. Okay, that time it didn't have gems. Maybe they have a higher opportunity for gems? There we go. Hey, it's actually not like storming now, guys. Look at that. Have I ever tried Oreo ice cream sandwiches? I have not. I never have, Talon. <clears throat> now melt the entire ice wall. Yeah, dude. We're gonna go around and melt every little flake of snow up here, dude. This is our objective for the day. We're forcing global warming in the north. <laughs> Okay, see you later, bud. Okay, that was that was profit in two ways. Got some meat out of the deal, and we knocked a lizard off the uh, cliff save, cliff side there, rather. Oh, look at all this, dude. We're just gonna go straight this way, just because we have so much opportunity to do it. I'm going to land on this right over here before we try to cross this ravine, though. What I'm trying to do is see if I can spot any uh, Leviathan bones. That's why we're just kind of going to the deepest part, way northwest. 
Just to see if we can find it. You know what I need to do? We know what I need to do as well is figure out how I can uh, fight the dragon. Whatever its name is. I found one of them. I don't know if there's more than one. But the uh, I found a... No, I've seen two. I've seen a red one and a yellow one. So there's got to be at least two. I have a picture of the red one, I think. What about that skull there? That's a, that's a normal skull, I think. Yeah, nothing there. You find those right at the beginning of the game, too. It's just what the goblins hide in. Hmm. A bear. That is a bear. Did you just shoot the bear too? You bastard. Jesus, dude. He's so far away. I want to see what kind of food he drops. Did he just despawn? Yeah, that bear just despawned, guys. Oh, Korok seed. Let's grab it. Where did it go? Up there. I imagine it went up. Keep on going. Oh boy. Nice. Rondo, what's up, man? It's going well, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing, dude? Whoops. These wild berries? Yeah. All right, let's continue north here. Oh, that blood moon hit too, so now I can go get uh, go back to the desert and fight that thing that I had to fight yesterday for the guts, the uh, the sandworm thing. I gotta get a photo of it. I never did yesterday because I'm dumb. I can go back there, grab a photo of it, kill it again. Malduga, yeah, Malduga. That's the one. What up, Chichiro? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Not a fan screamer. Not a fan of the uh the face app thing. And yeah, people are going crazy about it because it's owned by uh some Russian company. And so people are coming up with conspiracy theories. Oh, I shouldn't say conspiracy theories because it could very well be true about using their uh their likeness to create deep fake profiles for political gain and economical gain. Certainly not too far fetched this day and age. This day and age, you never know. Either way, people are losing their minds about it, arguing back and forth on Twitter. It's my favorite thing when people try to argue on Twitter. How far north can we go? Oh, we're going east now. Hopefully, this turns north. Oh, there's a bridge right there. Maybe just climb up this side and go up there. Convinced me to play Breath of the Wild as well. Had it sitting until right around you started. Nice, Gordita. 
Dude, that's awesome. I actually, uh, there's a few people that have that same thing going on right now. They're like playing alongside me. It's really cool, dude. Welcome back, Gordita. Hope you're having a good week, buddy. Enjoy the game. It's amazing. Well, that's neat. Now we have another one of these doors here. And there is a shrine behind it. Let's go find balls to drop down this hill, guys. I'm gonna use horse because I would end up getting off the horse a bunch anyway to collect all the material that I do. You can't collect things from horseback, so. What the? Okay, that kind of puts a little bit of a uh, damper on my plan here. Yeah, and horses don't like mountains. That's also true. Use your ability on the shield. Rip. I need to find the uh, the shield I mentioned the other day, but. All right, we're going to do a little bit of science here. See if it can jump this gap on its own. Actually, hold on a minute. Just set that there and also put uh, that away because it's melting these ice things. Need to eat some more food real quick. This is my last bit of food already? Jesus. I wonder if I'm supposed to do this. I feel like that'll help a little, I guess. Okay, here goes nothing, boys and girls. It's like long range bowling here. You ready? Yeah! Did it open? Yeah! First try, first try. First try, dude. Another shrine down. Winning. Yes, winning. What is going on in here? Hebra Great Skeleton. Is that a Leviathan? Yes, dude! Nice! Found a Leviathan skull, guys. We did it. We're owning. We're owning! Alright, cool. And oh, hey, what's that? Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I'm so amped. Guys, I fucking love this game. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Wildlands getting one final major update tomorrow. Hey, at least they're getting that. A lot of, uh, a lot of studios, when it comes to games that didn't exactly go well, end up abandoning them. What's a good example? Uh, there's a game. There was a game that was supposed to be pretty big, but it ended up flopping and they discontinued updates for it pretty early on. Andromeda. Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda. That game was supposed to go a lot further than it did, but because of the scale of its... I don't want to say flop, but because of the scale of its flop, in general, they discontinued updating it. Royal Claymore. Two-handed sword issued to the Hyrulean royal family's immediate guard detail. Powerful strikes are said to crush an opponent's body and resolve alike. Well, I need that in my life. This spear's about to break anyway, so yeet. Yeet! Dude, I'm so excited. Was not expecting to find that there, but hey, that works.
Hmm, pardon me. Now I want to see if there's anything we can do with these giant ice spikes out here. I think uh, we pretty much got what we came up here for, though, so I'm going to do a quick map reference to see if there's other shrines about that we can run to quickly because we are on our last bit of food for cold resistance. Do these melt? No. I wonder if they can be broken? I don't know. I can certainly climb them. No. All right, I don't think they're anything. I think they're just like there. They're just there to be mysterious. Or maybe you can bomb them. I don't know. Yep. Nope. This looks like uh, a decoration, yeah. Yeah, where are we on the map here? There's another shrine to the northwest all the way up in this corner, so we can go there real quick. There's another one right about here. Let's mark that. Another one right around there. My god, there's a bunch of them up here still, guys. Right about there. And one way up here. Jesus. Got that one. That one. Got that. Okay, so there's still one, two, three, four shrines up here. Jesus. Okay, well, let's try to get this one to the northwest and we'll call it a day up here for now until we get some more uh, warming food. I guess I could run around with this fire rod on my back at the same time. It'll keep me warm enough, I guess. Mel, what's up? How are you today? Oh, yeah, Lucius. I love exploring, man. Part of the reason why I enjoy games like this is to explore. That's why, like, the fact that they have all these shrines and Korok seeds everywhere just makes it so intriguing to do it, you know? It's very nice. It's a very nice touch overall. It adds a lot of life to a game for sure. I could very easily just power through the four divine beasts and hit the end of the game, but what's the fun in that? Come on, man. Oof. I done bombed myself. Yeah, we're kind of running the wrong way, aren't we? Well, we're just going to put a marker there just so we know it's up there. We'll just continue east to get this one over here, I guess, unless we find a way to go up and around this. Which we won't for a little while yet. Oh, nice, Mel. That's cool. We'll be a good time playing video games. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I need to find the, uh, is it the Hyrulean shield? I can't remember what it is, but I remember, I remember seeing it in other Legend of Zelda games. It's got the little Triforce on it and all that, you know? I'm not sure if that's in game or not, but I'd imagine if the Master Sword is, that should be too, you know? It's like part of the set. I gotta figure out where that is. I've not seen a single mention of it, though. That's the thing. I've not seen it mentioned. No one said anything about it. I've not read about it. Is in game? I thought it would be. I don't see why it wouldn't be, you know? Just gotta figure out where it is. There's gotta be a hint somewhere at some point, so we'll figure it out. 
Was the Master Sword mentioned? Yeah. You learn that the Master Sword is in-game pretty early on, just through dialogue. Not, not to mention, I think you see it when, uh, when you're in your flashbacks as well. Two and a half minutes left on my food. Ooh, there's a... Explodey rock thing. Nice. Good job. Some bomb arrows. I'll take it. I guess we got to go up, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it. Now we should be good. Sold upon the Hylian shield while playing was very pleasant surprise. Cool, cool, dude. Very cool. Rogue, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Bit of a platform to rest on. Where is this shrine? Aha. Aha. Shot and all. Hey, Kuro, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Let me in. It's getting cold out here. All right. Well, then. Well, then. Okay, so I see the ball there. We got to get it in there. There's a chest up there. Okay, it looks pretty straightforward how it gets in there. But we have to time it well with the platform that moves. I don't know, Screamer, but I, uh, that happens to me with a lot of games too, dude. Okay, we can't climb up that. Hmm. How would one... Oh, dude, you know what? Yeah. Yep. Great Frostblade. Let's figure something out for this. I'm gonna need this Frostblade, guys. I'm gonna need it. I don't know if I'll actually need it, but I kind of want it, you know? I kind of want them. Damn, dude, I need more space. <laughs> I need more space so bad. All right, tell you what. I'll tell you what. We're going to drop this Korok leaf for now. I've not had a use for a Korok leaf in quite a long time. But usually when you need one, they have one available for you somehow. So let's go with that, shall we? Mm-hmm. Drop that there. Uh, 
Oh. Hey, wait, what? Wait a minute. That's how we do it then. That's how we do that. Okay, so that's over there. What is with this? Now, eh, whatever. Is that what goes up? Yeah, okay, so we need to be standing on this when we get the ball going. We could just kind of bring that up here, throw it over, and stand on it. Grab the ball. There you go. Yeah, Lucius, we got the Master Sword a couple days ago. We were looking for Hestu in the Korok Forest, and we just kind of stumbled upon it. It was very cool. Very exciting. No! All right, roll one was a fail, a big fat fail. I totally forgot about the platform, to be honest, guys. <laughs> to be honest with you. Yep. Quickly now, quickly now, fail. All right, I think I know how to time it now. I got to throw it when it's already in there. Yeah, Skywarp, I had been farming a bunch of shrines because I was tired of getting one shot by enemies. So I just kind of went around farming a bunch of shrines and then just kind of happened to be... It, dude, I had exactly 13. What the heck kind of luck is that? I was not upset about it. There we go. You mother... Son of a... Damn. It does 13, I think, or it does like, okay, so I had 13 hearts and it did like 12 and three quarters. At least that's how it seemed anyway. Come on. Do it for me. There you go. There you go, dude. There you go, dude. Me. There's no other, uh, no other chests around, I guess, guys. Yeah, I got really nervous when we found the Master Sword because I didn't know exactly what we had to do. And then it was just like a King Arthur thing. We just had to pull it out of the... The, uh... Concrete there. I didn't know how much damage it was going to do, but it turned out well for me. Not once did he mention bombs. I didn't. You should be proud. <laughs> 